In this video, we're talking about electrostatic shielding. If you've ever looked at a transformer nameplate, you may have seen this little dashed line labeled ES on the winding diagram. That's an electrostatic shield or E-shield. But what is an E-shield, what does it do, and when do you need one? An E-shield is a thin metal sheet that goes between the transformer's primary and secondary windings. And it's made of copper or aluminum so that it's conductive and non-magnetic. The sheets in each coil connect together with a single conductor that bonds to the transformer frame. So that's what E-shields are, but what do they do? It's pretty straightforward. They act as a shield for the windings by redirecting harmful voltage disturbances away from the windings and reroute them to ground. There's a few applications where you should probably have an E-shield in your transformer. First, if your transformer is servicing a lot of sensitive electronic equipment, it should have an E-shield. Electrical systems with electronics are often vulnerable to transient overvoltages and mode noise. You can think of transient overvoltages as large voltage spikes in an otherwise normal power signal. They're caused by anything from lightning strikes to operating and closing switches in a power system and even just certain types of equipment downstream. Photocopiers, for example, are notorious for causing these since they draw large and irregular amounts of power when in use. Mode noise, on the other hand, refers to unwanted disturbances in electrical equipment. It can be caused by poorly wired systems with improper cable shielding, but it's more common to see mode noise when dealing with AC to DC power supply, like with solar inverters and VFDs. Some data center applications also require electrostatic shielding. So in these cases, the transformer needs an E-shield to redirect the transient voltage to ground and away from the windings. E-shields are often used in solar transformers because without them, harmonic disruptions and switching from the solar inverters gets transferred to the grid. These voltage disturbances can create impulse-like effects in the transformer's high voltage windings, which are feeding the grid. Transient overvoltage spikes on the utility side can also pass back to the inverter and that can damage an inverter's sensitive components. So in solar applications, E-shields protect the transformer, the grid, and the inverter. Not all solar transformers have an E-shield. For example, it's fairly common to see solar duty 600 volt transformers without them, but most oil-filled solar transformers should have them. The other application you'll find an E-shield in is drive isolation transformers. Drive isolation transformers are built to withstand harmonics from equipment like motor drives or VFDs. You can learn more about drive isolation transformers in our video on that topic, but for this example, just know that motor drives create voltage disturbances. In summary, E-shields are highly recommended for applications that are vulnerable to transient over-voltage spikes, mode noise, or other voltage disturbances. 